the number one problem with, with, the, with the stats menu in this game is if they added a stats menu to the game, nobody would know how to play the game anymore and nobody would want to learn. Like, say they had a grind turn speed slider, right? Whereas if I was trying this nose grind and maybe I hold the right left trigger or the right trigger, I can slowly turn out of it, right? If a, if a new player saw that and he couldn't get around and they saw a stat menu, what they would want to do is they would crank up the speed of the stats so they can do it. So they would hold, you know, the nose grind, hold the trigger, and their stats would allow them to go around faster. But they wouldn't, they don't realize that you can do that in the game without having stats. You don't need to have stats to do that. It's really technical to, to do these turns, but these are what you learn over time. A lot of people in this game, they bypass uh, like a lot of the way that you play the game to make it easier. Yeah, just easy, hardcore. Yeah, for sure. It'd be so much better. But I think like, I don't think that would solve the problem. I think like they would add easy, hardcore. I think that actually make a lot of people, people happy. At the same time, you'd have people like, oh, it's not the same as PC. Like it'll never be the same. Like it's not, it's not enough. Like never please that audience. No one is ever happy. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but like the high pop and the low pop and the, the, the vanilla default gameplay is very carefully crafted to look and work the way it does. And when you change the values, it doesn't operate the same way that it's designed to work. And this is where the, where the crossroads between like people that don't care about that and people that do. <laughs> it's like people on PC don't care about that and would prefer the glitchiness of the animations for like the gravity. Whereas the studio wants to avoid all that stuff and they, they don't give the gameplay. I don't know. You know what I mean? I think Easy Day thinks as a stats me like like a band-aid kind of thing. It's like a solution without actually fixing the problem kind of thing. It's like a it would it would be good, but it wouldn't really fix a lot uh, the issue. I think it's like a pretty general consensus though that most people, like almost everybody here, would prefer to have gravity regardless of the like I think it's a, something that you know you have to opt into like experimental features like just put it under experimental features maybe it's buggy yes opt into it and if you have problems it's you know opt out of it that's how it should be that's how it that's how it is currently with like the, the experimental features that we currently have i don't know like that should the, the easiest thing they can do is change the sounds and that alone That was weird. Like just the sounds alone, just change the sound files and it makes the game feel better alone. No gravity sliders, nothing. I think like a basic stat menu would be good. Like gravity, scoop speed, flip speed. With with gravity though, you should also have uh, pop force. You need to you need to, you need to balance pop force with uh, the gravity to make it right. Pops out of grinds are with too high. Yeah, like on console and stuff and manuals and stuff. It's one thing for Easy Days to tell you guys, like, oh, we're having this new update. But it's another thing for them to, for me to tell you guys they're having a new update because the reaction to that will be different. Because the, um, I guess the impression behind Easy Days Studios is not the best, whereas mine is a little bit better. So if I, if I were to say the same thing as them, it would be accepted like better by you guys. A lot of games do that. They do like live Twitch streams where they have like announcements for the like Aspen Gold will sit down and talk with the developers of like Final Fantasy or the devs of World of Warcraft or whatever game and to, like ask questions that you guys are asking. It's like I'm like the middleman where they could be in the chat with me talking about the future of the game and I could be reading the chat like, okay, here's a question from this guy. What do you think about the stats view on console? And like, you know, that that's that's the way that we should go with it for sure.